my departure card from Manila. I don't know how long I'm going to be staying in Madrid. I don't know how long I need to be in Spain. Uh, but I just know that I can't go back to the Philippines just yet. Overpopulation was just really the main problem that we had back in 2009. So I started giving away condoms for free to everybody. Kind of got known for that, for being like the condom guy. When the last president came into power, he tried to push for this bill called the Reproductive Health Bill to provide birth control. A whole bunch of like Filipino Catholic uh, extremists were going to be protesting against the bill again outside the Manila Cathedral. I wanted to carry a sign that would sort of be an ironic message to what was going on. Damaso is a character in a national hero who said his also novel, Father Damaso being the abusive priest. And I just told all of the bishops my statement. Stop getting involved in politics, stop getting involved in politics, stop getting involved in politics as I was being dragged away to jail. If work of art that I do is performance art. A lot of people in the art world consider performance art to be the voodoo of the arts. I think it is actually the genesis of where all art comes from. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present the Cultural Center of the Philippines Congress. Watching the first ever performance, standing next to First Lady Bear Johnson, holding her pearl clutch, watching the chandeliers disappearing into the ceiling, that perhaps Imelda took a look at all of the glamour that surrounded her and said, I think we can do this at home. They were able to find an archaic code called Offending Religious Feelings. It's from the Spanish era. The sentence is one year, one month, and 11 days inside a Philippine jail. As a critic of this particular administration, it wouldn't be very safe for me to go into a Philippine jail right now. I was given a choice and decided to go and leave for exile. Well, my day usually starts, mornings are reserved for Spanish, and then I walk in the park, and then I have lunch, and then I have a siesta. When I wake up, it's gym, and then battling against the demons of procrastination, making art, and then diversions. That act mobilized the Philippines. My Twitter following went from being 2,500 people to 250,000 people in 24 hours. I became kind of like this weird meme. People would dress up as me. The image of me holding the Damaso and the hat became a symbol of the reproductive health movement. And that symbol, I guess, catapulted the RH bill into the national consciousness. Four years later, the RH bill passed. But the downside of this is that I have to go to jail. There's a saying I heard, and I think I heard it for myself, that a ballerina washes her own panties. Which means that no matter what kind of moments of beauty you can create, you still have to do the menial stuff. You know? Not every day can be a creative day. 
Some days you just gotta wash your panties. It's amazing how much I gave up just to feel safe. Starting life in a new country at the age of freaking 47. It's a blessing, they say. Or at least, that's what I tell myself every day. Tell me something, girl. Are you happy in this modern world? Or do you need more? Is there something that you're hoping for? I'm falling. Sometimes I feel like something's calling for change.